All right, my friends, we are back with the Elder Scrolls Online. So this time we are in Balfolian. It is one of the starting zones of the Ebonheart Pact. It is the second starting zone. So what I call starting zones are these tiny guys like Lake Rock Isle, Balfolian, Stros Mackay, Canarthus Roos, and there's also Betnik. Past them, we get the early zones. Uh, the game will call them beginning zones, but I call them early zones. They're definitely not starting zones, though. At least they're not really supposed to be. So, here is Balfolian. You can see in relation where we came from, which was in Bleak Rock Isle, way up here. So we've traveled a ways. So this is actually a direct continuation of the Bleak Rock Isle story zone. The story also continues on into Stone Falls, but like I said, that's not really a starting zone. But we are going to begin with the side quests. And the side quest today is going to be finding the family. So let's go and do that. Let's pick up our first side quest. Yeah, this is a cool little zone in a moral wind. So, we are in Dalmora. It is the beginning village right here. And the guy we need... ...is Esku. I think that's how his name is pronounced. He needs help finding his family. Right there. I've lost my family. I don't know what I'll do. There were scary noises in the fields. Some of my Gua ran away. I'm worried, worried, worried about them. But I can't leave the Gua who stayed behind. They're too frightened. Of course. Gua are noble creatures. And they're hard workers. You've got to find them. Here, take some stinkweed. It's their favorite food. Their stomachs will lead them home. Home to me. Thank you so much. My poor children. I don't know if I could go on without them. Because they are. They haul our goods. They eat our trash. Guar are magnificent. And I have heard rumors about the Covenant. If they attack, who but the Guar will carry our belongings to safety? actually get it you know it's like having a, a pet or a dog or a horse you know you grow attached to them they're your family sorry that's how I am <laughs> so anyway let's go and do this so we're once again dealing directly with the Daggerfall Covenant not a good way they're they're the enemies again so basically, we just go around here and find all his guar. Versus Corky. Go home, Corky. Corky was right here by the bridge. That's still more. All right. Fortunately, it guys, you chose towards them, the markers. Take that. So it's fun to be up on some Daggerfall Covenant. <laughs> it's not personal, I promise. <laughs> I often play Daggerfall Covenant. <laughs>
We then have Raleigh use the stinkweed. Raleigh is way over here where the river parts. And Pale Hide. Pale Hide is actually not out here. I'll show you what I mean. I don't want to fight more Covenant, so I'm not too eager to get back on the horse. <laughs> so for this one... We run up here. You typically cross the bridge. Well, you're likely to be down there, so I'll just run up here. And you head into Fort Zarin. Hale Hyde somehow managed to wander in here. It's right up the stairs. And that's his missing guar, his missing family. And then you head back to SQ. Who has moved beyond the fence? Gate, whatever it is. <laughs> Callie, Dolly was missing you. Thank you for bringing my family back together. You did, Gua friend. They're all back. Palehide is already ruling the roost. Where would they be without me? I'll get them fed and ready to carry our things. Oh, Pale Hide would be ruling the fort, you know. <laughs> Alright, and that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll have another quest next time. Take care.